this unit, uh, th at least this whole, so, so there are three um, main chapters where they cover content in this part, uh, like there has been in the other parts. And the first, uh, the first chapter covers runge cut methods. This is chapter 25, and so we're going to go ahead and launch into runge cut methods. So these are methods for solving that first order ordinary differential equation that we talked about before that takes the form dy dx is equal to f of xy. And I want to uh, I want to show you how we get the form that's used for these runge cut methods. The form uh, that we use for these runge cut methods is uh, y i plus 1 is equal to y i plus the slope and that slope we're going to use a phi to represent the slope times the step size h. This is the general form that all of the different runge cut methods take and I think it's instructive to see uh, another way uh, another way that this might look and, and how that would look is let's say we're, we're trying to do this integration we only want to do it for one small step uh, from i plus one or from i to i plus one so we can separate this differential equation so we can say dy is equal to f of xy uh, dx and then we can integrate both sides and we'll go from y i to y i plus one and we'll go from x i uh, to x i plus one and so we will get then uh, y i plus one minus y i is equal to the integral from x i to x i plus one of f of x y dx. We can move the y i to the other side, so we get y i plus one is equal to uh, y i plus the integral from x i to x i plus one of f of x i or excuse me, f of x y dx. Now uh, this may look a little bit different than this but uh, the one thing that you'll notice then is if it's the same this term right here must be equal to this term right here and in fact it is and one way I can I can show you that that, that intuitively makes sense is that, that we have a slope uh, times the distance. Well, a slope could be uh, y i plus one minus y i over y, uh, excuse me, over x i plus one minus x i, right? That's, I mean, that's an example uh, of a slope, right? D difference in y's over the change in y's over change in x's. Uh, also h, well the h would just be xi plus 1 minus xi because that's just the step size in x and if we multiply these out if we multiply these out we get yi plus 1 minus yi and you can see yi plus 1 minus yi if we were to plug that in here that would make uh, that would make this equation true. So that's just another way of seeing uh, that what we're doing here with this with this uh, derivative makes sense. The other way of making sense of it is saying, okay, well I have some function, and I don't. I have the starting point of that function, and I have the slope of that function, and we have the slope of the, we have the starting point because we had to have uh, the initial condition that was given to us. And uh, the slope we have because that's that's just f of x y that's that's the slope uh, so we're given that and we're, so we're given the point and we're given the slope and we need to figure out what the next uh, value of the function is well we could just come along here uh, along the slope uh, the distance that uh, um, you know a certain distance and just say hey you know that's our that's that's our new value. 
um, and, and who knows what the actual function looks like. It may look something like this, right? Um, but, but if we just step along the slope, that's going to be a pretty good, and this is our y function that we're trying to get to that we don't have. Um, that would be a pretty good guess at our y. And that's the idea behind all of the all of the different uh, uh, runge kutta methods is taking a slope and moving along that slope. The only difference between each method is which slope, uh, how we come up with our estimate of the slope. Again, then to, to just reiterate this point, the general form of the equation, the general equation that we get with the runge kutta methods is yi plus 1 is equal to yi plus phi h.